Hi. Welcome back. So. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm gonna be coughing a lot. So, um. This is a pretty interesting game that we're gonna be playing today. So this is, um. Cabela's Big Game Hunter Pro Hunts. Oh, okay. Starts with a cutscene. So, anyways, this game is from 2013, and I don't even know why I have it. I have better games, but I just thought I'd make a fun little series out of this, because why not? So, I'll just be quiet and let you guys watch this. Oh, that's gonna kill somebody. <coughs> Smokey! <laughs> okay. Okay, you can't stand up like that. You're gonna scare him away quick. every time. Dang. What the hell? I can't nice shoot that well for both. Good job, Vicky. Okay. It's a hunter's paradise. Sure. No roads, no people, no place like it. One chance, one perfect shot. I'm Jim Shockey. I'm Wade Middleton. I'm Ralph Sanzarulo. I'm Vicky Sanzarulo. Welcome to Big Game Country. Oh boy, that transition. So good. <coughs> so there's the logo, obviously. There's a lot of Cabela's games there. Usually, like, just arcade games are not very good. Why don't we first start by breaking in these new boots? Go ahead, have a look around. Honestly, I don't know how it looks in the recording, but this game doesn't look that bad. Like, the pink sky and stuff, it's pretty, to be honest. And this game like is... these can tell you a lot about the animal who made them. The species of game, the direction it's heading, and how long ago it's passed. It's all plain to see once you know how to look. This game is originally for the Xbox 360, and it says it's from 2013, but I found it and I've had it for a while. I thought I'd just make a series out of this. I'll send some new coordinates to your map. <laughs> Head to that waypoint and see if you can't spot that buck. He should be just up ahead. This is just like normal control. Shift is sprint. Step softly now. The less noise, the better. Try to move when the animal is moving. Okay, how do I? Oh, yeah. So they'll make like these ripples, and that's when the animal is moving, or like their feet are like stomping on the ground or something. Oh my. Hear that? That's our buck. Don't think I've ever heard a deer make that noise, but it's okay. <coughs> And yes, I am very sorry for all the coughing and such. Sounds like he's hidden in the brush up ahead. What? I don't see any deer. And we're gonna need to save us some money and get a good scope, because this one is awful. Uh, there's a deer, okay. Oh, okay, and then you can... F, and you spot, okay. And I'm guessing that's the lake. Okay, so this isn't like the hunter call the wild. You have to kill um, males, not females. This is for like trophy hunting. It's not like the same. I'm guessing, yeah, since I played this before, when their footprint is green in the top of my screen, where like the waypoint is and the compass. The green means that they are, they feel safe, and they're not cautious. I'll send some new coordinates to your map. Head to that waypoint and see if you can't spot that buck. And then it'll just up ahead. slowly start turning, like, yellow. And then when it gets to red, they're in, like, full pursuit, and they're gonna run away. Large, solid obstacles, <coughs> such as rocks, conceal your presence from the animals. When behind them, you can move faster and remain undetected. What kind of sound is it? 
And this is a very unrealistic game. The Hunter Call of the Wild is so much better. But I thought I'd play this just for a little series to make, and it's not very hard. Okay. Holding your breath will steady your aim, but you can't hold your breath forever. The placement of the shot is just as important. When shooting at a deer, it's always best to aim for the lungs or the heart. Sometimes an animal will run away after taking a fatal hit, but he won't get far. You'll need to find the blood trail and follow it to claim your trophy. The placement of the shot is just as important. When shooting at a deer, it's always best to aim for the lungs or the heart. Sometimes an animal will run away after taking a fatal hit, but he won't get far. You'll need to find the blood trail and follow it to claim your trophy. Holding your breath will steady your aim. Okay, I you know. can't hold your breath forever. I would like to go for a harder shot. When you're ready, take your shot. Okay, well, that's not exactly where I was aiming, but... <laughs> and there's this thing where you see, like, where you hit. Blood tracks will give you an idea which way the animal went. Head that way and you wow. should find some more blood drops. Okay. So, like, the scope is weird. Like... I'll show you later in the game. Like, the, the, the circle, the little red circle, will sometimes go to, like, the left side. And it won't be centered. And I don't understand, because there's definitely shouldn't be, like... A bunch of wind to like move, move the bullet. Okay, so we got twenty hundred for that. And there's all these bonuses, pro bonuses, like a big trophy. And there's like, I'll show you. There's a multiplier. Okay, one shot bonus, which we only took one. Stationary target. Okay, that's it. All right. That's a good start. Now let's talk about some more advanced hunting skills. I'm not gonna get very far, I'll only do like one mission. Go ahead and open mission. up your GPS map. Okay, I'm The map will let you know what animals can be expected where. It shows all sorts of important <coughs> stuff like terrain, wind direction, time of day, and general areas you might find animals. It'll also show the locations of hunting resources as you discover them. Activity zones are also marked on your map, so you can quickly see where animals are usually feeding, watering, or bedding. Animals will move between these zones as the day progresses and their needs change. The activity zones that are highlighted with a bright glow are the ones that are most likely to contain animals at the current time of day. A red glowing zone indicates a location where hunting pressure is high, and that animals will be avoiding for a while. In addition, it marks the location of advantageous hunting locations, such as preset blinds and stands. It also indicates the direction the wind is blowing, as well as how the hunter's scent is carried by the wind. The map legend provides additional information to help you use the GPS map. Let's find a spot to observe a feeding plot. Close your map and head to the waypoint. Okay. <laughs> Looks like something's down here. I don't want to make these super long, so I obviously want you guys to stay here. Um. Always pay close attention to the animal's body language. See that? He's got your scent. When oh, an animal wow. smells something unfamiliar, he'll get fidgety and agitated. Usually he'll try and spot the source of the smell and then take off. This one looks like he's going to stick around, though. Yeah, you see it turned yellow because he caught my scent. So now we're going to have to go around to, like, this one stand over here, right there. So you now he, the thing is green, so he doesn't smell us. He lost your smell and calmed right down. If a deer sees movement, it will stare. Freeze if you don't want it to spook. Yeah, I've done this enough. I know that you don't even, like, need to be quiet until you get way up here. There's a 
stand just over there, but it'll be tricky reaching it without spooking the deer. Move slowly, keep low, and uh -oh. stay behind rocks. Uh oh. I'm gonna crawl over to it now. Better be safe than sorry, even though this is a tutorial, and it'll make me restart every time, so. See, there's like the. Use your optics to observe the animal's body language. Glassing allows you to estimate the animal's alert state and plan a successful approach. Yeah, or you could just cheat and look at the thing at the top. Move into the stand. Pay close attention to bushes, as moving fast through them can make a lot of noise and spook the animal. Okay. Also, make sure you keep out of the animal's sight. And this guy keeps interrupting me. I don't like him. And he, it's like a walkie-talkie, so the deer would hear him, but... It's just a game. We don't talk about that. How does it not see me? <laughs> I think we're ready to take the shot. This is not a good shot. I don't know what you're talking about, buddy. And the scope is awful. I'm just gonna wait until he moves and I get a better... Better shot. What's up, buddy? I'd like a bet better shot. Could you turn for me? Or I could. I'm gonna go for spine. Please get spine. Ah. Blood tracks will give you an idea I'm gonna shoot him while he's running. Went. Head that way, and you should find. Him. How did that miss? It went. Th <laughs> Blood tracks will give you an idea of which way the animal went. Head that way and you should find some more blood drops. Oh wow, it dropped. Okay. Yeah, this is an interesting game, you know. Because there's just certain things about that are good, you know. Some are bad. Not every game is, well... No game is perfect. But like, you know, there's like good games, there's bad games. I wouldn't say this is a super good game. But when people have their opinion. And then you see I got negative credits because um I missed um all vitals. Now play your trophy. We play by the rules out here. You need to claim every trophy you shoot. We don't like to see wounded animals, so don't take a shot unless you're totally sure you can hit the target. Okay. Hmm. Another cussing. These southeastern woods are a good spot to kick off our tour. The combination of gently oh, wow. rolling terrain and an abundance of water makes this ideal country for white-tailed deer and wild boar. The weather There's a few is bears mild here and too. the ground cover is plentiful. You should have no trouble tracking game and avoiding detection. I don't know this video, so you have gun, scope, ammunition, binoculars, you can put anything there. Yeah, so you have like these missions. So like this is like a pro hunt, all right. So this is like a like a cool deer, I guess. We're just gonna do one of these. Hunt one deer with a rifle. Okay. I don't want to waste my money on that. I think I can get one, so I'm just gonna go here. Okay, so here's the bad thing. Like as soon as you spawn in, you spawn right next to a. A, de a zone and there's usually yeah see all the yeah there's a big group of deer over here so that's the bad thing you spawn in right next to deer so you can pretty much just like spawn camp them almost or it's like they're spawn camping you oh wow that's a small deer there we go that's what I'm talking about all right 
I'll just tag him and then just get a good shot and then we'll take it. And that'll probably be the end of this video. Um, you know, it's been a while and I don't want a super long video. It's already 15 minutes. <coughs> so, I don't know. I'll try and make a good shot here. I was close. Ah, uh, what the heck? Oh boy, that's not good. That's stupid. I don't like the, how this game's uh, guns work. Like, one bone really... Sh I don't think it slows down a rifle bullet that much. Especially a 270. Where's the blood? Where's the blood trail? Oh, uh, right here. So, like, you, if you slow down... It like sparkles, I guess. You see that? Like, you could kind of see it. And you could track it, and then on the thing, it still says I've spotted it. So it's turning yellow back to green. And so I can go find it and shoot it again and not let it suffer, even though it's a video game. Probably should have made a video on this a long time ago. Jeez, that duck scared me. I might just shoot that one. Well, maybe. Jeez, these stupid ducks. Why are they so loud? Oh my gosh. <clears throat> okay, let's we'll get close to this one. I have a perfect shot as long as it doesn't move. a tiny one but I'll take it because why not as long as this video isn't under 20 minutes 25 if it's over 25 minutes that's not good ah dang it okay good it stopped I just need to get, get a good shot on it. Okay. Oh my goodness. That was close, but still off the mark. You need to practice. Oh, please hit something. Oh my. Oh That's my goodness. Sloppy okay, shoot. well, Painful at least I too. dropped it. Next time, wait till your target stops and make sure your target. Okay, for some reason, I think it's really funny when it got, that guy says that. That's a shame. Sloppy shooting. It's just funny. He's so disappointed. <laughs> Stupid water. Don't ever be loud like that again. He's just, like, he's just so disappointed in you. That's a shame. Sloppy shooting and painful too. Wait till your target stops. Make sure your target. My target was stopped. Anyways. <coughs> that's the end. Um, I don't even know if anyone's gonna watch this. I probably, my views are gonna go down a lot. Because I haven't uploaded. So, you know, have fun if you... Ha if this even uploads today and uh have a good day i guess yeah yeah yo oh.